Greetings one and all. Yes, it's that time of year again. And as a special present this year, I have been sent this Christmas tree kit. And this came from a new store called Circuit Pop. And my thanks go to Can at Circuit Pop for sending this to me. An ideal beginner's project for the Christmas season. Looking here on the Circuit Pop website, we can see that it's on offer at the moment at a really, really good price. And the description is very thorough too. So it's ideal for a gift for a beginner in electronics. It has comprehensive instructions for each of the two models, downloading the instructions or just looking at them online, full description of the circuit diagram and all the parts as well. Not only is it a great fun kit for this time of year, but also instructional, educational as well. Let's get it built and see how it functions. In the components bag, obviously we have a mountain of LEDs and a whole bunch of resistors. What we're looking for first are three 1K resistors. So here are my three 1K resistors, and it doesn't hurt just to check them if you're not sure of the color coding. You can either use one of these fancy testers. These are really fun kits to make as well. 983 ohms, it's only a uh, 5% tolerance. So let's get these fitted. When soldering, I don't like the fumes going up my nose anymore. I had too many years of that, so I built this little fume extractor, which really helps. When clipping the legs flush with the board, a pair of side cutters, don't let the legs just ping around all over the place because Believe me, they will find their way somewhere where you really don't want them. I'm going to move on now and fit some other components and come back when there's something of interest. With all the resistors fitted in, it's now time to fit the LEDs. And these are multicolored LEDs, so perversely they're clear. And you can easily check these with a, a little button cell. Uh, I know. The longest leg is, is positive, and that's the side here. Clearly, we can see the LED working there. The longest leg is positive. The positive and negative for the LEDs on the circuit board is indicated by the round pad being negative and the square pad being positive. So we always know the longest leg goes in the square. And these need to be bent out just at an angle, just over the edge of the circuit board there. A few more of those to go in. All the LEDs are in place. I've tried to make them a little bit random, but uh, having OCD, they're all pretty much in the same location. The next job is to fit these 47 microfarad capacitors. Now these are polarized and they're marked with a negative side there. And once again, similar to the LEDs, the longest leg is positive. Now they're gonna fit in these locations and be folded flat onto the board like so. The last components to fit on this board are the little transistors and again they're clearly marked where they go and the flat face and the round so that you can insert them the right way round. They recommend bending the legs over so that the component can lay flush with the board. And a quick test with my 5 volt power supply shows that everything is working. Now I can get on and do the same to the other half. The two halves of the Christmas tree are ready now. You can see what really nice quality PCBs these are. Now these simply slot together and then they're joined these locations here just by soldering. This is probably the only time when a good blobby joint is a good thing. Next we can assemble the base. That starts with the power socket here, which I've already soldered in, and that's strengthened by just putting, in this case, it's a leg off of one of the capacitors when it was clipped off. That is just soldered across to uh, give it some additional strength. The next part is the switch, and it talks about putting the concave side to the edge of the board, and what they're referring to there is this little indent in the top of the switch there. So. Let's get that soldered in place. In 
now we can attach the battery box and solder the wires for that. The base is complete now, I've just soldered the wires from the battery through there and don't forget to put the screws in this way round with the nuts on the top here. The final, well, penultimo thing that we need to do is to solder the tree to the base. Clearly we have the negative and positive indications there and similarly on the tree itself. So that's going to go in there like that. Again, it's the same blob technique to join this to the base. With those joints in place now, the very, very last job is to put the final LED right on the top of the tree. Remembering again that the long lead is positive, pushing that through and bending it up in the same fashion. And when those leads are clipped off, the job is done and we can test it. There, doesn't that look pretty and festive? So my thanks go to Cam at Circuit Pop and he's provided kindly a 10% voucher code. So look down in the description for that. And that's against your first purchase. And with that, it just remains for Rockin' Robin to play us out.